Okay, so here at SWAL we have a cultural principle of just keeping it real. So my very real question is, I do not accept that police shortage is an acceptable answer to public safety right now. Justin and I and a whole bunch of people came out of a film showing at the Asian Art Museum. We walked two blocks down to Charmaine's, which is rooftop bar, and there is like 40, 50, 60 people doing drugs out in the open. Like, why is there not police there arresting people? Yeah. Like, and we've essentially descended into a place of lawlessness such that everyone thinks it's culturally okay to do drugs in the open and smash windows. So what is the city doing to step it up? Like, more police cannot be the only thing that we're doing right now. Like, and especially if it's not like five, it's not gonna happen for five to 10 years. Okay, so I'm gonna, so one thing I'll, I'll start with, I agree with you. So that is not an excuse that things are okay. I think I'm just offering it as a reality and, and I'm saying that that's not the solution. But uh, once again, I say leverage the police department, make them do their jobs, right? Yeah, how so do we make them do the their jobs? Issue. So this is when we talk about short-term and long-term solutions. And I, I, this is all you have to do. I think it's very simple. It's actually political will. I think if you have politicians, if you have community that all agree that drug dealing and drug usage on the streets in Oakland is not okay. So let me, in, uh, so that's the simple answer. If we all say it's not okay, then we can make it not okay. So let's take it from the police officer's perspective. perspective. Well, let's start there. So the police need to make a right? So that's, that starts there. So number one, police officers need to make a list. So then let's carry this thought through the whole system. So as we take away drug laws, you're giving the police officers less and less tools to make those arrests, right? So now it's harder to make the arrests. There are yeah. less offenses for them to make arrests for. So that goes to the legislation, right? So we have to be smart about that. Who are we voting into office and what kind of laws are we making? So I would say number one, give the police tools to do the job. Right? Yeah. Those are those laws. And I oversimplify this. Then the prosecutor has to take the, the arrest seriously. So what the police hate and why morale is bad is we make these arrests and then that darn guy is out there two yeah. seconds later. And so it's meaningless. So it's just, yeah. they're just like on a hamster wheel spinning the wheels. So totally. It's like, why am I doing all this work, <clears throat> writing reports, putting myself in the line, when it absolutely has no, so, um, so the police department for a long time made the arrest. There was a lapse where you know that crime just wasn't prosecuted. Before that DA was recalled, I was very worried about San Francisco because I saw this that whole cycle. The police were did not want to make that arrest anymore because it didn't mean anything. It yeah. just um, it had no significance whatsoever because there was no prosecution. So thank God Nancy would make a great DA and prosecutor for San Francisco, but her but the current DA is a prosecutor. The former prosecutor, I don't consider a prosecutor. He completely threw the criminal justice system out of line. Um, it comes with checks and balances already. When you vote for your for your DA, you need to vote for a prosecutor. They can be reformists, they can um, have alternatives to jail, but they still need to prosecute. If they're not doing their core job, the system won't work. So the prosecutor needs to prosecute, and then if the prosecutor needs to prosecute, if they do their job, then the judges need to take it seriously, right? So the judges have to say, hey, you're guilty. It's not a slap on the wrist. Here, you know, what's the prescribed um, consequences for this? And then they have to go on the scale to make that behavior stop. So if I'm a drug user, because um, I've seen this happen. So the arrest disrupts their drug usage. Going to jail, I don't mean go to jail for 10 years, but going to jail for a month, six months, disrupts that pattern of drug usage. So I think we have to take that more seriously. So, and then the le legislatures have to go back and decide, uh, they can make changes. They can make, tell us that there are more serious uh, consequences for these crimes. So, and then I use a drug example. You can use theft as that example. So we have this whole system that is not working anymore. And it's upon you to vote to make your police department accountable, to make your prosecutor accountable, to make the judges accountable, and to make your legislatures pass laws that are real and that can be used to change these behaviors. So when I say it just needs political will, that's what it's all yeah. stuff. That was a very long answer.